welcome to NBA Countdown, presented by Mountain Dew Kickstart. <laughs> Welcome inside Studio One here from above the Heineken River Deck at Pier 17 in New York. That's Paul Pierce drinking truth juice. Uh, Jalen Rose, Chauncey Phillips, I'm Michelle Beadle. We have a shocking <laughs> turn of events out in the Western Conference Finals. I don't know if we're going to tell the truth. Yeah, I don't know. Last night, the champs, champs are on the ropes. Brian went to home. We got a superstar out for game six. We'll have a lot more on that later on. But first, the reigning champs of the East have a do-or-die game of their own. Let's take a look at tonight's storyline, brought to you by Mitsubishi Motors. LeBron and the Cavs facing elimination at home tonight in Game 6. James with a history of success in these games, but after going just 4 of 11 from the floor with four turnovers in the second half of last game, there's some questions on whether or not he's out of gas. He's tired, boss. Just saw him clutched over a few times um, early on in the game and throughout the course of the game. Um, you see him, you know, see him tired and you know, I try to get him out early enough in that third quarter to bring him back in the fourth quarter, but, you know, he just wasn't ready yet. So, um, you know, it happens. You know, it happens. But one thing about it, I know he'll be ready to play game six. And, um, that, you know, so fatigue won't be a problem and an issue. John C., you heard your guy, Ty Lue, said he's not worried. But are you concerned? Uh, he was tired in that game. But this is elimination. We're at home in Cleveland. And I've always just seen it. I just, I can't believe it. This dude is the incredible Hulk in tennis shoes. <laughs> he really is. We've never seen this. Come on, man. He's going he gonna to come out and fight tonight, you know. And will he be tired? Yeah, but you got 20,000 behind you, cheering you on, helping you out. He'll be fine. You know, there's something to be said about the greatness of, the, uh, of these players, the guys who are great in our league, who going on to achieve great heights such as LeBron James, when they get put in these situations, tired or no tired, they find a way. Mm -hmm. You know, and when we, we argue that LeBron is one of the two or three best players to ever play this game, they know how to put themselves in a place mentally to overcome that tiredness. They, they say, listen, they will themselves in games like this. And you got to expect them to take himself to that place and find a way to get his team to win. I'm not concerned, but the issue was not only should he be physically fatigued, but I think emotionally fatigued for carrying so much of the load of this basketball team. Yeah, his back is hurting. No question. Anytime you're out scoring the rest of the starters five times in the postseason, that can be an issue. But playing at home, I think the reserves are going to be hyped up. I think they're going to be making shots. He's going to fill them out early. He's going to take his layups. He's going to take his dunks. He's going to take his open jump shots. But he's going to fill those guys out. And I think they're going to get off to a no, the question, start. The question is not LeBron, though. You know, we never worry about LeBron. This is, this is a supporting cast. Mm -hmm. You know, now they're facing elimination. I know they're home, but they're facing elimination. Even more pressure now. So are they going to come to play or, or not? I, I, I just don't know. I, I just don't know. I, I have no questions about LeBron if he'll show up, but... They're facing lift, uh, elimination. There's more pressure on the line. Oh, yeah. I know they're at home, but I know about I the whole thing. The role players, <laughs> right? But let me, what is more motivational right now for the role players? That they are at home or just pride and that your leader has Cancun. been so good? Pride. This is the Step playoffs. Up. You got your family in town. You got your grandparents. Who, who, who everybody. are you talking about, child? Listen, who I'm got talking the about the entire Cavs team. Cavs. Cavs team. I haven't seen pride in none of those players They're all series some long. Pride, but here's, I haven't seen, we here's haven't my seen thing, that, though. Paul, they're facing elimination, right? But they're not facing the team that beat them the other day. This is the Celtics on the road. And we know that's a different ball club. Without a doubt. They see an opportunity right here, though. I truly believe they they didn't believe it. I don't, think, I, don't, I don't think they really believe that they can that. get to the finals before the playoffs start. But now they're saying, we're one game away. They believe. They believe they can get to the finals. They smell it. They feel it. Right now, I think, uh, you know, you is see it. Is that truth juice or is that bias? Right. Is, is that bias juice? Correct. It's truth juice. AKA. We got the truth juice. The, I the think reason why we got these on our mugs tonight, we're going to discount anything Paul Pierce has to say yeah. about the Boston. Yeah, sabotage. That. That okay. Is no, but I think they feel it. You know, everything. and people say, you know, Paul, you're biased, you're a Celtic. Uh, but my honest opinion, when America, when you look out there and you watch, the Celtics are a better team, clearly. I know Cleveland has LeBron James, and sometimes that's enough. I think in this case, that's not going to be enough this year. But the great thing about the NBA playoffs, as you gentlemen would know, versus the NCAA tournament, usually the best team wins four out of seven. They have their chance. They got to show up, as Mr. Big Shot said, on the road. All right, we're going to come back to you guys right now. Quicken Loans Arena is where all the fans in Cleveland feel good about the Cavs' chances for survival. LeBron's teams are 5-0 and all-time in home games facing elimination. 
prior to the NBA Finals. And before on the game, we say hello to Ms. Doris Burke. And, and Doris, you're listening to these guys. We know Ty Lue's not worried about it. What are you thinking about LeBron and his fatigue the other night? Well, I, he was absolutely fatigued, but I don't expect tonight fatigue to be a problem, and I 100% agree with them. For LeBron, tonight is not a problem. I thought some of the turnovers he had were a result of fatigue turnovers. I mean, he does not miss guys in transition at that kind of range, make these kinds of passes. He's usually on time and on target. But to Jalen's point about the mental fatigue, this to me, when guys are shooting 6 to 20, when he's putting the ball in their shooting pocket, I do wonder, does that take a toll on LeBron? There's physical fatigue and mental and I think part of that was his teammates so it's a tale of two teams with these Celtics uh, Paul is very secure that tonight's the night they figure out how to squash this roadblock that they're on right now how do they do that tonight well, it's interesting because the footage I'm going to show you, Michelle, is something both coaches just referenced in our coaches' meetings. Boston has been exceptional at home getting into transition, and the way they do that is cross-matching. So we know this. Defensively, they do a ton of switching, right? So the matchups become different. Baines is checking LeBron James, which means Morris is on the weak side with Tristan Thompson. The problem is when they reverse course and now get out into transition, Tristan Thompson is underneath the rim. His matchup should be Marcus Morris. Well, well, that means LeBron James has got to sprint and beat Aaron Baines and help his teammate out. That does not happen, Michelle. And this was a huge advantage for Boston when they were playing in Boston. Those cross matches leading to transition opportunities. That was where they were most successful. Now, can they turn this over? I don't know. You know what's going to happen. A little bit of ball here. He gets the Jason Tatum switch. Now, this is off a made basket. What happens on the end, other end of the floor to me is inexcusable. You should be sprinting back in transition. All five guys closing to the ball instead look at I mean LeBron James is gonna end up in no man's land no one's checking Jalen Brown he gets an easy opportunity both coaches meant to transition opportunities for Boston it's the one area of weakness Ty Lue said we have had defensively in this series so we'll see what happens Doris as always thank you so much Jalen Doris um, all right Celtics they got to figure out a way to do this to get the close out on the road do you agree with everything she said? I do agree because they had 28 points in transition. And they play a lineup that I call a jumbo lineup because they smart start Baines. And then you have Horford. And then you have Morse. And what that what they're able to do is switch like size and like ability to guard LeBron James. Keep him perimeter oriented, keep him out of the paint. He's shooting a jump shot, they're off the other way. So it's gonna be interesting once they start to sub. So they'll take out Brown or they'll take out Tatum insert either Rozier or Smart to play with that lineup. So for the Cleveland Cavaliers, they got to find a way to get balanced, get good shots, and then that'll create better balance and getting back on defense. Yeah, it's funny. We keep having this conversation when they go on the road, like how do they change things? Right. To me, it's all about effort. It really is. It's all about will and effort. You have to compete. You know, you got to compete harder on the road. I mean, this is a team that prides themselves in being scrappy. You know, um, and I've played for some really good teams that we pride ourselves in that. That's why I love the way this team plays. You got, you, that, that thing has to travel though. That scrap has to travel. Without and if they do that, they got a good enough coach that, that get them in positions to have a chance to win. Yeah, well, you're not worried. Like, what's different about tonight? <clears throat> well, they know it's going to take a team effort. And I, and I believe that Brad Stevens understands he has to make some adjustments on the road. It's not the same when you play at home. You, you feed off your home crowd. And, and guys are more energetic. I would like to see uh, Morris uh, come out with the same emotion that he comes out at home. I like when he's getting in guys' faces. He's yelling after he gets an and one. You know, he's going to be the key. Obviously, they need a balanced attack. They definitely need that. But Morris and Scary Terry have to be big for them tonight, I believe. It starts at the top. And I just believe the veteran presence of Morris. Obviously, I have all Al Harper, but Morris, when he goes and gets 13, 15 points, I feel like the Celtics never lose. Uh, when Terry, when he's causing havoc from the top, penetrating, making threes, you know, finding guys on the perimeter, I feel like they always win. So I believe that those two guys are key. Of course, they need Jason Tatum to play like he's been playing. They need Jalen Brown to play like he's been playing. But those two guys, I believe, are the X factors tonight. And Cleveland's a different team when they're making threes. That's the other stat I'm looking for. Transition points and three-pointers. The Celtics continue to suffocate the line and force Cleveland into tough three-point shots. That would be a Who would have thought that today the Cavs and the Warriors would be down 3-2?
No one. That's no crazy. One that. no one. <laughs> I would have loved to put a little money in Vegas on that. Well, you can't do it in hindsight. <laughs> uh, and the crazy <laughs> thing, they're going against teams that are higher seeds. So yeah. it says a lot yep. about what we think about the teams that were seeded higher. That's right. Jalen talked about it a little bit. LeBron doesn't waste time getting it going with facing elimination. He averages nearly nine points on 55% shooting in the first quarter of elimination games. Coming up, it was Houston's biggest win in decades came with a costly price. What Chris Paul's hamstring injury means for the Rockets' title hopes next. NBA Countdown is presented by Mountain Dew Kickstart. Bold.